Good afternoon. Hey guys, this is Bruce Marshall with Simpler Trading doing the nightly video update for Wednesday, November the 28th. And if you did not see, we had a huge rally today. Let me clean, clean this up just a little bit and show you the day on the S&P. Well, of course, we'll start with the S&P. So we came in this morning had a little bit of a move higher here, nothing major, and then kind of just not much going on until this was when um, Powell from the Fed came out and said the Fed is going to um, back off of the rate hike trajectory that they're on, and which, you know, that's been a, a huge um, hurdle for the market. And, um, if you saw Trump was tweeting about the Fed being a bigger problem than China last night, and obviously the Fed listened um, and came out today and said, you know, we're going to take it a little bit easier and all that kind of stuff. The market loved it, gap straight up, and just never looked back. We ended up the day plus 61 points. Big, 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 big day. So, um, where does that leave us? And I did not, I was traveling last week with Thanksgiving. I didn't get a chance to do a, uh, a video, but I've been saying for the last couple of weeks that, you know, we needed to come down and retest this low. And, and then if that low held, um, then we probably would be in pretty good shape. And that's exactly what happened. We came down here and this was actually on Thanksgiving day, essentially it's the Thursday and Friday of last week and what this does is creates a you can see here we had a essentially a um, it's kind of a messy one here but we had a double uh, a double bottom uh, here and it looks like we're getting it here and now it looks like we're getting confirmation up this way um, and if this completes that should send us higher now the next big and, and even bigger hurdle, perhaps, is China and what's going to happen with tariff, trade war, negotiations, and all that kind of stuff. Um, we are going to have the G20 summit this Friday in two days, and we are likely or possibly get an answer there, or at least an indication that things are going, moving in the right direction, and so forth. That could really take the... Um, the pressure off the market and accelerate us to the upside and um, that is what I am anticipating now let me clean this chart up a little bit um, so again let me zoom in here so this is where we are now we're not out of the woods by any stretch um, there is your 200 day moving average uh, which uh, we keep coming back to of course uh, we're almost there um, now the question is, do we hit this and fail, you know, and go back this way? It's possible. I don't think it's likely, especially with the Fed giving us really some some really good news today, right? Um, there are a lot of other little things going on, you know, uh, uh, variables out there, Italy, so forth, uh, Brexit, you know, and, and et cetera. But there, none are as big as China or the Fed, and we've got the Fed basically out of the way right now. So if we can get above this 200 day moving average, which right now is at 2760, uh, then that will act, once we pass that, that will act as support as we come back down to, you know, most likely hold us uh, above that. And again, you know, then we're kind of um, at least have our sights set on some higher, higher moves. So, all that being said, and then same pattern is happening with the NASDAQ, same pa pattern is happening with the Russell. Um, it's probably a little clearer with the Russell. Um, the Russell has hit uh, hit and held this previous low, which coincidentally is that previous low. And um, so we're in good shape here. Now the Russell, typically the Russell will lead us um, and the NASDAQ and the S&P will follow. That needs to happen. and you know, it will put it this way, it would help. It would be more encouraging. It'd be a, a much more bullish sign if that happens. And, and I think it will. So uh, keep an eye on the Russell as well. Um, you know, again, we've got 
uh, all this kind of building up around the G20. We've also got the quote unquote Santa rally um, that really doesn't start till the first, second week in December anyway. Um, so again, I, I'm sure you can tell by my tone, I'm, I'm bullish. I've uh, had gotten positioned a little bit um, as we had come down into this lower level, started getting positioned a little bit long. I'm still not as long as I would like to be. Um, and I'm being, I'm being cautious. I'm being careful, obviously, and, and you should too. Um, as we, um, as we go higher, obviously you want to lock in profits, maybe buy some protection on the downside, such as puts or downside butterflies or, you know, different things to kind of protect in the event that we do go back down. But, uh, from the looks of today and the rally and, and, and you know, of course it was a lot of short covering and so forth. Um, people may be switching gears uh, and this thing could go uh, could go much higher so you know if you're bullish like me you're looking higher thinking the hurdles are out of the way it's kinda not clear sailing but it's partly cloudy sailing right um, if you are bearish you are thinking well this won't hold it's gonna roll back over and we're gonna die um, I don't see a lot of reasons for that to happen this level held here if we should take that out uh, we could come back to that level but even that is not catastrophic um, I, in, in other words I don't see any reason for us to just roll over and completely fall apart here um, too many good things are going on um, biggest Black Friday ever consumer spending is up and all that kind of stuff so um, be careful you know with your shorts at this time and um, and try to lean toward the long side pick up some bargains I think there's some bargains in the tech um, tech sector be s selectively be careful I don't I still don't think like Facebook's a, a bargain I think Amazon looks pretty good um, so anyway other than that I'm looking to kind of I, I sold a lot gotten very lean on the way down and now I'm starting to look at picking up bargains I'll start I'll look in the transports um, I'll look select selectively at tech and a lot of kind of random maybe consumer staples and some of the other things um, that you know that still look good and there's some good valuations here so um, with that uh, let me wind it up I don't have any specific recommendations because we're still kind of in limbo. We need to push through this 200-day moving average. We should know that in the next two or three days, probably by next Monday, maybe by Friday. Um, and if that happens, I'm still looking to higher. Now, if we go higher, it doesn't always, it never goes in a straight line. Expect some pullbacks along the way, but the trend should be higher. So with that, let me wind it up. Uh, thanks for your time, and I will see you guys at the next update.